Well, there you have it. It was a great time. We had, I should say, a Baragani. Okay, wow. My name is Sylvia Black. Again, licensed real estate broker with affordable homes and apartments. I'm a licensed real estate broker, and I'm also licensed to preach and ordained as a minister. And I have my master's degree in sacred theological divinity. And I'm licensed to preach and ordained as a minister. I think I said that. Uh, we had a wonderful, wonderful time. Um, there was very, not very much that you can put on a 30-minute, uh, 29-minute uh, show. So, if you want to view the other highlights and some of the details of what actually went on, please visit my uh, YouTube address at sblack3001, which also will include Dr. Karenga's speech on the seven principles of Kwanzaa and the highlights of a lot of the speakers that were invited to speak at the Meriwether Library. Uh, just to go over with you the lineup of what actually took place, which you missed. On December 26th, Friday, was Umoja Unity. And this year, Buffalo Kwanzaa is celebrating Building for Eternity. Okay, and that was at uh, the 450 Maston Avenue corner of Ferry Street, it was the opening ceremony, and I got that on tape. That actually was on my phone, so that's on my YouTube address. Uh, Saturday the 27th, in the day, there was the Children's Kwanzaa from 11 to 4 at the Crucial Center. And then in the evening program was again at the Buffalo Academy of Visual Arts Performing Arts at 450 Maston Avenue in the corner of Ferry again. On Sunday, December 28th, was, oh, I'm sorry, that was Kuji Jakalia Self-Determination. On Sunday, December 28th, it was Ujima Collective Work and Responsibility. The day program was again at Crucial Community Center, uh, with Spiritual Empowerment Session. And the, even, the keynote speaker was Collective Work and Responsibility, that was the keynote address. Uh, the uh, brother uh, David Mohammed, Nation of Islam, Mosque Number 23, spoke. Um, dinners and literature was on sale. The evening program was at New Covenant Church, which uh, Dr. Tak Takia Nur Amin was the keynote speaker, and then there was a jazz musical performance. Okay, that was uh, the evening program. And then on the 29th, Monday, was Ujima Cooperative Economics at the library. Um, Pan Africa was the keynote speaker. December 30th, Tuesday, was Near Purpose. Frank Merriwell, the library, Dr. Milana Karanga, the founder of Kwanzaa, was the speaker. And on January 1st, for the first time since I've known about Kwanzaa, uh, uh, Dr. Eva Doyle spoke. I interviewed her at the vendor table, and she spoke on uh, uh, black history. And it was uh, she's going to have a, a couple of things at the library uh, to, this month coming up in January 2015. <laughs> So, I want to thank you all for joining me uh, for a Real Estate Religion and You. And I just had a wonderful time interviewing the vendors. I think that was a little creative of a touch, you know. And I might send this tape off to some news stations so you might see my face on some real TV show, okay? Okay, hear my voice on the radio or something like that, you know. Things are starting to look up. And I'll be bringing you some more of my talk shows about my books. And uh, just to remind you of one book in particular, which is uh, Mortgage Relief Programs. Don't forget to get a copy of this at uh, lulu.com, which talks about um, helping you save your home from foreclosure. And again, my name is Dr. Sylvia Black. Okay, and I ask you to please join me again next week for Real Estate, Religion, and You right here on Time Warner Public Access TV Channel 20. And also visit my YouTube address for the details at S Black 3001 for the dancing, the drumming, and the speeches, and the lectures, and the rest of the events that took place um, throughout the week. And we had a great time. Peace out.